on our recording. <clears throat> Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I am Roger Killen, the organizer. This talk is brought to you by Ion Connect. This state-of-the-art co-working space and tech lab helps grow innovative ideas from applied research and development, testing and engineering qualification, to commercialization and market launch. Our speaker this evening is Tracy Richardson. Tracy is a celebrity TV stylist and image consultant. She has the unique ability to transform not only the way somebody looks, but also the way others see them and the way they see themselves. Tracy works with network stars, politicians, and Fortune 500 business executives. She created the look and styled the launch of Canada's number one entertainment show, Entertainment Tonight Canada. My fellow Vancouver Business Network members and most welcome guests, I invite you now to put your hands together and give Tracy Richardson the welcome that she deserves. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I just put my glasses on. My eyes are tired. Uh, thank you very much for wearing what you're wearing tonight. I would love to talk to you about it. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about me, who my clients are. And I'd love to talk about what you are wearing tonight and how you came to choose what you're wearing. I want to take any questions that you have about how you can improve how you appear uh, and the importance of dressing up. Uh, so to give you a little bit of background, uh, I have been in the television industry for over 30 years. My job is to go into television networks and uh, go in and work with their appearance. So how they look, that's their wardrobe, their makeup, their hair, how they sound, how they speak, how they use their hands, how they sit, how they sit on a chair. Uh, I teach men how to get their hands out of their pockets, uh, all sorts of things. And I am hired to make people look good so that ratings go up. In the corporate world, I go in and I talk to companies about how they can improve how they appear. So when companies come to Vancouver and they come from Europe, they come from Montreal, what I hear back is that they don't feel like uh, they matter because of the way we dress when we are going into meetings or we are welcoming people. So I want to talk to you about the importance of dressing up. And I loved your responses, a smile, your credibility, a smile is important, but you've got to dress up. And my suggestion tonight is if you feel uncomfortable dressing up for occasion, then use the networking venues like this to practice. So if you feel uncomfortable wearing a tie, wear a tie to the next meeting. If you feel uncomfortable wearing a blazer or a suit, come to the next group and wear, dress up. And tell me what it is like when you dress up. How well are you going to be received? I promise you, I actually guarantee that you will have somebody say to you, wow, you look good. So when I look at this room, I just see a sea of people. And what I want to see is somebody standing out. Now, the gentleman that wore the vest, if you wouldn't mind from Watchdog, by the way, I have looked at your site and I do like your work. Okay. If you want to stand up for a second. Uh, people will ask me, what do I wear to work? How, how can I look different, but still let my personality shine through? So uh, what is your name? David. David. So David said he wears a vest and he doesn't know why. Well, the vest is personality style. 
and you are trying to be fashionable you're trying to you're letting people know who you are by way of the vest and that separates you from other people and i think that that's a really good idea i would love later if you would come up so that i can talk more about what you have on okay thank you so uh, let me tell you who i've worked with uh, former president bill clinton asked me to work with him uh, Justin Trudeau, our pr Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, if, forget about what your political views are. Um, uh, Jean Chrétien, uh, uh, let's Hollywood now. Uh, Shania Twain, Celine Dion, uh, Tom Hanks, uh, Penelope Cruz. I know how to take people and make them look so good that you think that they are smarter you think that they have a better business you think they're more confident you think that they earn a lot more money now you can have the smile but i'm suggesting that you dress for the event dress so that you let your potential client know that you take them seriously that you want their business it's like when you have a party at home do you dress up do you clean the house do you set the table? Do you go the extra mile to let people know that they matter? You have to do it in your wardrobe. So what is an image consultant? What is a stylist? A stylist takes a look at you, your face, your hair, your skin tone, your eye color, your body shape. I talk to you and I get to know what your personality style is. So you're, you're outgoing. You're not quiet and demure. So if I were styling you, I wouldn't do something quiet. I would keep you bold like you are. Um, so a stylist dresses someone. An image consultant, I work on your appearance, your, your behavior, and how you uh, speak, behave, so that can be mannered. So what I would like to talk to you about are the core, the core four. The core four is your silhouette. The core four is your face shape. The reason that we talk about your face shape is your face shape determines what pattern shape looks good on you. How would you know? Your face shape determines the pattern shape that will look good. So that can be a floral, a stripe, polka dot, paisley, a Moroccan pattern. There is a reason why something looks good on you and why something doesn't. The core four is also about, did I say color? We all have 30 colors that look good on us. 30, not black, 30 colors. And most people go for black. And what I've done today is I have brought a lot of color. I have women's and men's clothing, but I have color and I have pattern. I want to convince you to not just wear black, gray, navy, and white. You have 30 colors, and I'm hoping that I can show you uh, what your colors are tonight. Uh, and then the other core four is personality style. So uh, the gentleman with the vest, that's personality style. My shoes. I don't have just a standard pump. I have a shoe that goes around my ankle and has little things sticking out. They're a little bit edgy. So that's my personality style. I'm wearing a coat because my dress is so tight, I'm afraid that my zipper is gonna burst in the back under us, so I'm wearing this. Um, I started rowing and uh, swimming again, and I think I've gained so much weight up here, or muscle, I should say, so I'm wearing a coat. So I thought, okay, well, you don't really know my personality style, but you can get a little bit from the shoe. So core four, we're gonna talk about your silhouette. That's men and women. Tonight, we're also going to talk about your face shape. We're going to talk about your best colors and how do you develop your personality style. So what I need is participants from the audience. Who would like to come up front, let me talk about what you have on, how we can improve it, and I need a man and I need a woman. Yes, you, bookkeeper, which I'd like to talk to you after this. <laughs> no, come on over. What's your name? My name is Ivan. I know. Okay. Now, 
I'd like to be brutally honest. Can you come on over here? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stand here and he stands aside and face, face everyone here. So I'm a little closer. Okay. Okay. So I would like to talk about face shape. Now, if you don't know what your face shape is, go into the bathroom in front of your mirror. And if you have a crayon or someone's lipstick, and you can draw an outline of your face on the mirror. Whatever shape your face is, that shape is a shape that will work really well for a pattern. Okay, so I want you to look at my face and I want to look at Tina's face. Okay, I want you all to look at this part of my face here. Okay, so I have angle here and then I have uh, uh, like a V here, angle. So I have angles and I have round features. Just hold on to that thought for a second. Now, if you could take your glasses off, please. Pull your, I'm going to get you to stand right over here to the green. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You look at the face here and the face here. So it's angles. Can I get you to, would you come up here for a second, please? Because I can compare your beautiful face to Ina's beautiful face. Shape. Okay? Stand right beside Ina. Okay. He has an oval face. There is an angle here, angle forehead. So a V-neck is going to be the, is going to be Ina's best neckline. Someone that has an oval face, the round neckline is always going to be best. So if you can think of uh, Maria Shriver, Google her, you will look at her face and you will see angle. Conan O'Brien, angle, and a big square forehead. So if you have lots of angles on your face, your best neckline is going to be a V. If you have an oval face or a round face, your best neckline is going to be oval. So I can wear both oval and round. Just hold on to that thought. So this is an oval face. We're going to talk about your neckline in a minute. There's angles here and big square. So your best neckline will be a square. How do you know if the neckline is right and you don't know what your face shape is? When you try something on in a store, put it on, close your eyes, open your eyes. If you see the neckline first, the neckline is wrong. So if you put a V-neck on, ladies or men, so if I'm talking a V-neck for men right now, it would be a t-shirt or a sweater, okay? Close your eyes, open your eyes, and if you see the neckline first, the bottom of the neckline, it's not right. And here's another tip. If you put anything on your body in the store, and you see what you put on before you see your face, there is something wrong. And we'll go through all of that. It's really important. So now we're going to talk about body shape because that's part of the core four, okay? <coughs> so we, you are, can I get you to turn this way to the wall? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna stand here. So this bot, the shoulders and the hips and the waist goes in slightly. Turn this way. Okay. And can I get you to turn around, please? Okay. So shoulders. Okay. Okay. So can both of you sit down now? Because I'd like to talk about body shape in just a minute. Thank you. Okay. So um, does anybody not know what their face shape is? Can you stand up quickly and I will tell you. Come on up. My eyes aren't doing good right down here. Okay, what do you think its face shape is? It's an eye training course. Oval. 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 Yep. Okay, thank you very much. There you go. Okay, next. How many are there in total? It doesn't, I don't, you know what, there are hundreds because people start sleeping with other people and then the bone structure is different. <laughs> different. It doesn't matter. What's yours is all that matters. I don't, I don't know. You have to come up here. Come on, come on. Let's go. You're the slowest realtor. Huh? 
Come on now, you just really bad. Get over here. Okay, what do you think? Sexy. What? Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Angles? Oval. 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 It's hard to tell with his beard. Yeah. Twenty. Okay. Okay. Well, I in my world, I'm going to be brutally honest. I think you should actually trim it because I think that what so what happens is when I look at what is your name? Sean. Sean. When I look at Sean, all I see is his hair. I don't I see that he's very hair. confident. Yeah, I see his facial hair. So to me, that tells me right away that there's too much facial hair. Uh, so I would actually groom it. You can look older by acting older. And you can look older. What would you recommend? Well, I, I, I would get rid of all of this and I would get rid of all of this. Uh, I would, I would, I would, I would a, lot, a lot of facial hair. I don't want to see all your hair. I want to see your face. So when I'm styling for That's the Oscars, I'm sure they do. <laughs> okay, yeah. yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. So when I'm styling for the Oscars, my job is to make sure that when I style somebody that you look at their face first. So whenever you go into a store and somebody tells you that it looks good on you, remember that they have a quota, <laughs> they have to make sales, and if you put something on and the color doesn't stand out and the pattern doesn't stand out and your face shines, you've done it correctly. So my suggestion to you is to take this collar and lower it because I've lost your neck. Okay, you need to bring your shoulder, your, your shirt collar down, and you will look taller and your neck will look taller if you got rid of some of this because everything is just all in here. And I would want to open you up because you're a very open person, so open up more. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, uh, face shape, body shape. Okay, I think I would like to go to. Um, who would like to stand up so that I can assess their body shape? Yes. And Ina, I'd love you to come back up if you will. Okay, please. So um, can, I wanna, I'm going to ask some personal questions. So when you decided to wear what you are wearing tonight, what was the thought process with your head? To keep cool and I'm trying to do print to hide um, attributes. Attributes. So the fullness around here is that in the, the, the bust fullest, here? The bust. Okay, you don't have to hide it. You, you, don't can't, have to I hide can't, it. you can't hide it, but basically yeah. it's, I'm, I'm actually finding that I learned this from my clients from years ago that, and they were smaller, right? Right. I was talking about these family members, but sometimes men think you, you're not smart. If you have large attributes. Oh, so, so, so the attributes. So, yeah, so uh, oh, okay. So um, their their breasts, their bust. It's your bust uh, attributes. Uh, so it's a bust. Um, there are lots of ways that you can camouflage. You can make smaller. Um, but uh, okay, so that's why, and that's a good answer. And so, why did you wear what you're wearing today? Because it was cold. You were cold. Sorry, cold okay. Okay. And so, so your comfort level is wearing a blazer? Yes. Okay. Okay. So how many of you know what to wear when you go to a business meeting? You, you know what to wear? Okay. And how do you know what you're wearing is correct? Uh, question. Uh -huh. How do you know? How do I know? Yeah. Uh, I know the colors that I think look good on me. Okay. Confidence. Okay. I know if I'm going to a business meeting. Yeah. Usually it's going to be shirt, no tie. Yeah. Suit, cufflinks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, what would you like to get from me this evening? If I could talk about anything tonight that would help you to make better choices when you go shopping in the store. Because what I see when I stand out or stand here is that most of you blend in and I want you to stand out. If you want your business to stand out, a smile is not enough. So what is it that I could help you with tonight uh, so that when you go shopping, 
you are going to know what to look for. Color contrast. Okay, color is really important, and that's why I brought all my colors. And I brought a lot of ties, too, that I would like to talk to you about. And I brought three blazers for men that would be my first choice for everyone in this room to gravitate towards uh, if you are going to wear anything other than what you have on tonight. Okay, so I want to talk right now, um, if you would just face this way. I want to talk about this right now. So anybody that knows me in television knows that the sleeve is a huge indicator that you aren't really that confident in what you wear or you're not exuding success. So gentlemen, please bring your sleeves up if you've just bought a suit. Uh, ladies, it's the same. Where is the gentleman that was here? You, I, I don't know your name. You were speaking today. I would really love to have you come up with your jacket on because I'd love to show you how to use it that jacket, okay? I think that that would be really important. So, because here is, this is what I see day in, day out. So to me, this is, uh, this jacket doesn't really fit. If you want to come over in between the two ladies, please. Yeah. Okay. So this is something is that is because these are longer. Is this the shoulder? Are too wide? Are too no. Big? This no. Just don't. When you go shopping, don't expect something to fit you perfectly. If it's a four thousand dollars suit, it still may have to be tailored. So if you spend ten dollars on a jacket and the sleeves are too long, then fix it. If the jacket looks great, it's the right color, the right lapel size, then do it up. And if it's too big, then have it tailored at the back. So here, she has a tiny back. So spend the money and have it tailored. Because no matter whether you're a woman or a man, you want to see the silhouette of your body. No matter what your body shape is, if it's small, big, wide, thin, doesn't matter. Show off the curves of your body. So if you would come here, mm -hmm. please. In television, everybody knows me as Tracy T. Tight. I don't mean tight that you can't breathe, but showing off the, the, the silhouette of your body. So my, I, ought, I just want to have a dart here because any extra, okay. any extra fabric here on a man or a woman adds 10 pounds at least, okay? So I say, I would, if you didn't want to show off your body as much because you are well endowed in the bust area, then I would get a top that is fitted or a jacket that is fitted to show off the curves of your body. I mean, and I, I, I have to get it custom because I can't find any jackets. I could find it for you. Um, I could, okay? So thank you for showing your body and uh, have a seat, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, so can you take that tie off, please? <laughs> okay. Can you undo that shirt a little, two buttons, please? <laughs> Can you take that jacket? Actually, let me talk about the jacket first. Okay. If you wear, a gentlemen and ladies, if you wear a jacket that is too long, it makes your torso longer. It also makes you look shorter. So when I saw you, when I listened to you, I was looking at your suit thinking it's too big. So I'm going to do this jacket up. Okay, okay, I see it the other way, or is it fake? Oh, no. Okay. All right, please. Yeah. So this jacket needs to come up here. And tall, if you will. Okay, as soon as we find a better length for the jacket, his legs look longer. So if you are not tall, 
You want to wear pants that are not as baggy as these pants. You want to find a slimmer fit. So my suggestion to you is a slimmer fit pant because we're lost. Where are you? I can't find you, right? Okay, where'd you go? You're probably, you probably, I can't find you. So let's get a pair of pants that fit the leg, okay? And then we're going to get a shorter jacket, okay? All right. Um, and if you are 5'9 and above, gentlemen, you can wear, well, 5'10 actually, a uh, double breasted jacket. If you're not 5'10, a double breasted jacket is going to make you look shorter and wider. So, ladies, double breasted jackets, if you're short, my suggestion is don't wear them. Okay? So, if you want to look taller, you're going to wear a single button jacket. Let's see if I've got a jacket. Can you take your jacket off, please? <coughs> wow. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> so all, already I take you a little bit more seriously because uh, it's still a bit long jacket. Keep keep your head straight for me. <laughs> I know because everybody's doing this for me. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Then you want the personality style. I would change the shirt. I would not keep the black shirt. Oh, -ho. <laughs> who is that dude? Okay. You could have you could have color. You could put a, a colored tie, or you could do something very traditional. Okay, let's talk about men and what to wear if they want to be casual, they don't want to wear a suit. I would highly recommend a blazer. And I would spend as much money on a blazer as you possibly can afford. You will wear it to networking events, you will wear it to meetings, you will win, wear it to win business. Get a blazer, not a double breasted. And if you don't want to wear a tie, then wear a pocket square. Now, he already looks a little bit more credible. Now, he puts on the smile, which you all seem to talk about, the credibility of the smile. So give me a smile, okay? <laughs> See? Now, let's pretend that this is a shirt. Mm hmm? A white shirt all the time for men? Uh, well, I, I'm going to say that a, a white shirt is your number one. Your pale, pale blue shirt. Uh, the gentleman, I don't know your name, I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. If you wouldn't mind standing up, this is a universal blue for men. If you want to go, uh, do you have blue on? I can't see. No, no that's, that's, a, that's, no, a reddish that's red. your red. No, no, no. The thank you, though. Um, gentlemen in front. Um, okay, so your best shirts, gentlemen, are white and a very soft blue. And a soft pink is great if you have, um, if you don't have lots of yellow in your skin. So if you look at my skin, I have a lot of yellow. You don't. So pink does look good. Uh, it does look good. So a white shirt, a soft blue shirt, and then one key color. So it could be a soft pink. It could be a maroon. So gentlemen and ladies, how do you know when to wear a striped shirt or a floral shirt or a plaid shirt? Does anybody know? Your first, the first thing you should put on is a white shirt or a blue shirt. <clears throat> then a striped shirt. Then, uh, if you want to be casual, it would be a plaid shirt. Plaid, plaid, does anybody have a plaid on here? This is a sort of a plaid. This is a plaid. It's not this color, but it's plaid. So when you wear plaid, it is casual. 
if you want to be, if you want to look more credible, you are better off to wear a solid and then or stripe. And for women, it is also the same. If you don't know what to wear to a meeting, don't wear a pattern. Okay? If you don't know what to wear to a meeting, go minimal. If you don't know what to wear to a meeting, do your research and find out what everybody looks like in the office so that you can stand out. You don't want to underdress. In my world, in the corporate world, when I go into businesses to talk to the, the staff about dressing up, representing the brand, um, we get two things happening. We get very casual or we get overdressed. So for the gentlemen, I'm going to recommend one television show that I think for business, dressing up is Suits. I don't know if any of you have watched the show Suits. It is the best. Oh my God, I'd love to see that. <laughs> oh, please, I just want one night with Harvey. I just would like to look at all of them because the, 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 the ties and the shirts and the jackets are phenomenal. The best styling, I think. If you don't know what you're doing, watch Suits on Netflix. It will really help you, okay? So now, we've got the white shirt on you because white is a good color for you. Keep your head that way, please. I wish I had another white. Okay, okay. Should he wear a floral or a stripe or something fun and whimsical? Do you think he has the, do you think he can handle the fun and whimsical or should we be a little bit more sacred? Right? No, he's, he's, he's fine. Stripe, whimsical. Stripe? Depends on the occasion. Ah, well, it always depends on the occasion, but what we're talking about is there isn't an occasion, um, there's always the, it's always right to wear the right color. It's always right to wear the right, it's always the right time to wear the right pattern. So um, if you are inclined to wear a suit and a tie, that's the shirt. Single Windsor or double Windsor? Well, if you have a big head, gentlemen, if you have a big head, you want a bigger knot. If you have a small head, you want to wear a smaller knot. If you are a small person, you want your details in your outfit to be small. <coughs> so your lapels will be small. Your patterns will be small. Uh, ladies, if you are tiny, tiny purse, tiny detail. If you're a bigger woman or man, bigger detail. You want to see the face first, not the big handbag or the pocket square that comes out here, okay? So let's just fake this tie. Now, <clears throat> can I have a smile, please? <laughs> now, I think I would take him more seriously. It's not good enough. When I was sitting here listening to you guys, and you said, oh yeah, wearing a smile. It's not enough. A smile is great, but you need to look like you know what you're talking about. You have to know what you're talking about. And if you don't, you fake it. Put on a jacket. Put on a suit. Okay? You're only going to look ridiculous if it's the wrong suit, if it's the wrong color, if it's the wrong pattern. You're not going to look ridiculous if it's right for you. So how do you know? Again, if you have an oval face, your patterns are going to be polka dots. So for <laughs> men, it would be a polka dot tie. It would be a pin dot tie. If you don't want to wear a tie, it can be in a shirt. It can be, uh, it can be in a pocket square. 
which uh, I will show you in a minute. So right now, I think that I would take this gentleman more seriously. I would listen to him. I would think that he's more successful than maybe he is. I have no idea. But when you guys present yourself in a way where, oh, it's just a networking, like, I don't, I don't want, I don't take you seriously. I want to know that you think that I matter or whoever, that I matters enough that you're going to get dressed up. So you wore a tie tonight in a white shirt. I have to say my assistant Kay Lee and I, we noticed you right away because I thought, okay, you're here, you're serious. Um, that, that, that these people matter to you. And that's what I want to teach all of you. And the reason that I talked about putting together a group, this group, because I would love to color grade every single one of you. I would love to somehow style all of you. I would love to have a photo of all of us tonight. And then I would love to have a photo of you after I have helped you with your colors, your style, your personality, and I'd like you to be back in this room, and I would like you to see the before and the after. And I'm going to somehow figure out how to do it, because the transformation will <coughs> blow you away. What I have heard from corporations that I do work for uh, uh, some of the Fortune 500 people is that the com main complaint is we are so damn casual in Vancouver. It's too <laughs> casual. It's not even, what is it, Casual Friday? It, it's, not even ca it's not even that anymore. Monday to Friday. It's, yeah, it's time to get dressed up. So if you think that it doesn't matter how you dress up for occasion, it does matter. So here's my thought. If you gentlemen don't want to wear a, a shirt, can you stand up? Those of you that are wearing a dress shirt, Roger, would you stand up? Would you please stand up? Gentlemen in the blue, yes. Okay, can you come up here, please? Yeah, so, yes, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Okay. Now, the gentlemen that have golf shirts on and wrinkled shirts, yeah, blue shirt, I don't know your names. Come on up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Golf shirt over here. You you get to go over into, you actually, you stand right here because you're all on your own. <laughs> damn, damn good. Okay. Okay. Golf shirt. Golf shirt. Come on up. Yeah, wrinkled shirt. Yeah, come here. Yeah. <laughs> Where does wrinkled shirt go? In the corner. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the shirt. Cotton shirt. Get up here, cotton shirt. Come on, yeah, come on. Yes, you are. That's a cotton shirt. That's a cotton. Just go on in. Cotton shirt. Okay. Yes. Can you guys get closer, please? Okay, uh, oh, where do I put you? Over there. Over here. Over here. Ladies, you'll get your shirt. Yeah, in the green shirt, come on over. Come on. And the t-shirt, come on. You've got personality style. You actually win. I love that shirt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up you get. Don't be afraid of me. Okay. Over here? Okay. Would you stand right here, please? Right at the center of that table. Come on over here, don't hide. Okay, ladies, ladies, okay. Who do you take more seriously? The men wearing the long sleeve cotton shirt or the golf shirt? Don't think too much about it. Just answer the question, yes. Yes, okay. Now, out of all of these men, I'm so sorry that I don't have a shirt for you. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the gentleman wearing a jacket that fits with a tie and a white shirt? Does his bar for confidence come up? Yes. Credibility yes. come up? Yes. 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 Now, the lone man with the golf shirt. <laughs> and the short sleeve shirt. Okay. I understand casual um, and I understand comfort, 
but I am going to ask you gentlemen, if the next time you have an event to come to, if you would either take those tops and put them away and get into a long sleeve shirt and dress up. If you want to wear the golf shirts or the t-shirts, I'd love you to find a blazer that you can wear and put over it because it will give you more credibility, okay? Um, so, yes? I traditionally wear this, this shirt yes. with dress slacks yes. and a fitted blazer. Yes, well, I really want to get my hands on you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So what I would like to say is, if you're used to wearing golf shirts, I want you to get a dress shirt. If you want comfort, you can still be comfortable in these shirts. If you think that these shirts are cooler than these shirts, that's not true. A cotton shirt is cooler. But I want you guys to raise the bar. Now you, you I want you to stay up because I'm gonna show you how to put a blazer over that and make it look good. Now, can I have Roger? Come here for a sec, please, Roger. So let's say you don't want, this is for all of you, you don't want to wear a golf shirt or you don't want to wear a shirt because it's hot. Then this is what you do. Harvey Spectre. Patrick, have a look at Patrick. Yes, so. yes. It's a little, that's high. <laughs> you like it high, okay. okay. But you know, the problem is all I do is I look at that instead of looking at you. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, so, this is a better length. If you didn't want to wear, if you don't, if you want to be casual, you can still wear a dress shirt. If you want to be casual, wear a top like this and maybe put a blazer over it, okay? Thank you. Um, yes. Yes. Is it, I actually told too is that with people who have chest that you have to have your sleeves back past your elbow. Um, is that true for men too? Um, well, um, uh, well mm, so the, this part of your body for e almost everybody right here is the slimmest part of your body. Okay. So that if a sleeve comes to where uh, your slimmest part is, it's going to draw your eye in. But we can talk about other ways to minimize an, an area. So, um, uh, the gentleman that has the tie on, you get to stand up. And the other gentleman, would you please sit down? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Green tie, right? Yeah, green tie. Stay up. Have a seat, gentlemen. You stay up here, please. Ladies, I'm going to get to you. Now, where is. Now, I would like you to come over here. You have a skip. Okay, thank you. Now I want you to take this, this, this image, okay, image, and I want you to go back and get your jacket on, okay, and this jacket off, if you can put your own jacket back on please, I don't know where, oh, okay. it's on the chair, okay, I'm going to make a point here, okay, put that jacket on. Okay, so is it enough to have a smile? No. Thank you, Roger. Okay, get a jacket that fits, wear the colors. I'm going to show you right now um, what colors, uh, not right now, after I speak to the gentleman with the tie. I'm going to show you, I'm going to put you all in color groups so that I can tell you what your colors are tonight, okay, so that you know what you're wearing. So I want to make sure I get this before you all go. So have a seat. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you.
but then again, I say that he's got a chest like I do. And then she like, well, this is not a custom jacket. No, no, yeah. But when the jacket fits him, this is a fabulous look for him. Now, could he roll the sleeves up too? Uh, well, he, these sleeves are a little bit long. I that that's what I would do here. But no, I would not a jacket, I wouldn't roll it up. So um, for a blazer or uh, a jacket, your thumb is shorter than your dress. Your 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 yes, your your jacket should come down here. If you want to show a little bit of shirt, that's kind of sexy, it's kind of nice looking. There's nothing, in my opinion, what I'm styling sure. on, uh, is to see a man's wrist. To see his wrist, his watch, and the cuff of a shirt. And a, there, a jacket is made to hide things. And that's okay. That's why men look so good when they put a suit on. Because it hides everything. <laughs> it does. It does. And it, you get this built in shoulder, so it gives you shoulder width. And then when you have it fit, it brings in your waist. And it just it, it just looks good. I look at you and I take you seriously. And I'm telling you, if you want to make more money in business, you need to pay attention to dressing for the occasion. You've got to wear the right color. You've got to wear the right suit. Men, if you don't wear suits, go buy one. If you wear, if you want to have more than just a shirt, then put on a jacket. Just doing this looks fantastic. I don't have a, a pocket square that I would really put for this outfit, but you don't even need it. Like just having the blazer. Um, you can take that jacket off, Pete. I know you're up there. I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> it's okay, I'll get it. <laughs> okay, so there we go again. Okay, take that jacket off, please. <laughs> now, the three jackets that I brought today, if you don't, so if, if you don't own a suit, gentlemen, go out and buy not a black jacket. Okay, so you can even wear a stripe too, not necessarily with this. But you can wear all three jackets. They all look good on you. So can you take that jacket off? Thank you. And thank you very much. You can have a seat. Put on a blazer. It looks good. So <laughs> gentlemen, this, a pinstripe, a subtle pinstripe, dark navy. This is the other blue. This is a universal blue that I would put on almost everyone. You will look fantastic. And instead of black, get a charcoal gray. It's gray like this. I borrowed this jacket or a dark jacket, okay? A dark gray, I'm sorry. A charcoal gray, okay? Where do you go if you're on a budget? Uh, Moors. No, not China. <laughs> Support Canada, please. <laughs> I was, I, I, do you know my dad got the Order of Canada because he was a record producer and he produced, he believed that we could start something in Canada called the Canadian Music Industry. Oh, and he was ordered, and I believe wholeheartedly in supporting Canada first. So please buy Canadian if you can, but let me tell you, I'm going to say Zara and it's from Spain. Zara has some great uh, men's fashions and women's fashions. Moore's has buy one, get the <coughs> second for free. Yeah, you, and you can get one pair of shoes and get the second for free. So if you know somebody that needs to go get clothes shopping, gentlemen, go with him and you both can buy a suit and get or get one suit free and shirts, okay? Um, I can give you a list of stores that you can shop in. Come on over here, please. Um, Kayleen, can I get you to help me? You just mentioned Zara, so we actually from Zara. Okay, that's awesome. So let's talk about what you've got on. Okay, so why did you wear a tie? Uh, this is my lucky tie every time I oh. do a special meeting or stuff like that. Okay, and, and so here you have an oval face, okay? So these are the patterns that you would wear for an oval face, okay, shape. So there's your stripe. So I like the fact that he's wearing a tie, but I look at the stripe. And I also um, look at the green. So if you could take that off, please. By the way, this is a universal tie that men look gorgeous in. 
Do you have any paisley ties for him? I do not have a paisley tie. Um, I have round pattern ties. So I have this tie, which I think would look really good on you. Okay, it blends with his skin tone. There's another round. This also works. Now, it works the green with his face. Right for him? Uh, no, the green is not. I like the green look. It's good out. Yeah, well, that's, you don't want the tie to stand out. You want the face to stand out. Oh. So, yeah. So that's, that's, there's the trick. You just said it. Thank you. That's exactly <laughs> it. So right now, when I put this tie on, you still look at his face. When I put this tie on, you still look at his face. When I put this on, uh, the tie, the tie stands out. Thank you. So it's a bit too bright for his skin tone. So let me uh, put that around your neck. Too. <laughs> you are, are you done with these braiders? Um, can you hang them up for me, please? Thank you. Can you take that tie off, please? So anybody in the room that has this skin tone coloring, these are your colors. How much more time do I have, please? It is. Uh, a short answer to your question is 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try to get you all colored right. So this is your, these are your colors, okay? These are the best colors for you, your skin tone. And there are quite a few in you here. And there are some people that are not quite as dark. They don't have as much red in the skin, but you still are in this um, skin tone. So the gentleman in the green, this is your palette. This is your palette. Um, this is your palette. Daryl's. Daryl's, thank you. Um, I believe, I can't see your name. In oh, Deborah. 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 Kayleen, help me here with my eye. I believe she's this color. Yeah, Deborah. So these are your colors. Okay. Um, Daryl. Daryl. These are your colors. Okay. These are your colors, Raymond. These, what's your name? I'm sorry? Vincent. Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Is hi, Vincent possibly, or is he the deed? Sure. Yeah. He could be a deed. So these are your colors, okay? So j please remember that I said this, and Kayleen will tell you this is a deed, so that you can take a photo of this tonight in front of you, okay? Okay? So thank you very much. You. you got your tie. So did you notice that he doesn't have that color green in his palette? So the tie is great, he got dressed up, but your coloring is low and dark. So your colors, these are the colors that you're going to wear in suits, in t-shirts, in ties and pocket squares. You will always look your best, okay? Watch suits. Yeah, so, so when you watch suits, <laughs> put yourself, figure out who you look like and take a look at what they're wearing and you will look fantastic. And I think, uh, did I say that you are this color in the blue shirt? I don't know your name. You may be this as well, okay? And the gentleman beside you. Okay, so um, Kayleen, uh, come up here, please. Kayleen is a winter. So are, is there anybody here that is this color? Kayleen, white skin, dark hair. Thank you. White skin, dark hair, anybody? Me. Yeah, okay, come on up, let me see you. Anybody else? Uh, before you dyed your hair? Uh, I, I, I was straight since the winter. Um, before, what was your hair color when you were younger? Dark brown. Dark brown. Um, I'd have to see you. Um, come on up in the light. Uh, you're a summer. I remind you to show you. Okay. Okay, come on up here so I can see the light. Uh, you are not a winter. No? Yeah. No. You are not a winter, but you are um, you are a, a, a soft. I will show you the soft, okay? Actually, come on back up here, because I'm rushing here. I want you to draw a color green. Where is it? Thank you so much. Okay, Kayleen, fool the winter in front of you. Roger, can I get you up here? Because I want to see who you are behind the light. I can't see you in the light. Ah, okay. So there's Roger. When you were younger, 
younger. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that because I am not younger. <laughs> Um, did you have long hair? <laughs> did you have a little bit of red in your hair? Did you have a little red in your hair? Never? No. Okay, so hold on. Which is after, did you have hair? <laughs> <laughs> this is your time. Okay. okay, Kayleen, is a winter. So if you have dark hair and white skin, you are a winter. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kayleen. Can you clean up my mess for me? Mm -hmm. Mom, over here, please. Take your glasses off, please. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're a my hair. I changed my hair to better. Doesn't matter. I don't need your hair color. I just need your skin tone and eye color. <clears throat> you could be a winter, or you could be a uh, summer. Okay. Yep. Summer. Where? where? Roger, this, this is the color. Summer. This is a summer. Summer. Yeah. Now you and Jennifer Aniston are summers. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. So you have beautiful brown eyes. I would either like you to go darker with your hair. Um, I don't think you are this one. Okay, <clears throat> now, here's the trick. I'm gonna put the colors on. You tell me if you see her or the colors first. When I put the colors here, what do you see first? I see her face. You see her face, okay. When I cover, if you don't mind, your hair. <laughs> the color. Uh, pardon me? The color. What do you see first? I see her face. You see her face. Yeah. Okay, but hold on. Let's have a wash. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. I actually don't think you're a winter. I actually think that you're a soft. I think that these colors are a little bit strong that they're wearing her. This is the this is it. When you go in and you put on a shirt in the store and you see the shirt first, it's not probably the right color. Okay? So I believe you're a soft. Okay? These colors are very icy. Like I would not want to see her standing in a dress or a suit all in this color and me having to look at her all day because the color is too strong. So I actually believe, <clears throat> I believe that these are So it's because she has a little bit of warmth in her skin and she has warmth in her eyes. Okay? So who uh okay, who so you, we know who you are. Come on up here, Mr. Beck. I think you are a I am. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. So you are a warm. Come on up here. Are the palette names you're using the warm, the soft, the is that standard? Yeah, it your... is for me, and yeah. I can help you with that. Yeah, <laughs> like some of it, like winter, internet, spring, winter, summer, uh, autumn, uh, autumn, spring. Those are the four. And then when people started being with other people with different skin tones and eye colors, we got more colors, right? So if you don't fit into the four main categories, then you go into what we call warm. Okay, so let's see. Are you a winter? Kayleen, I need your help here. Okay, if you want to see me dry. <laughs> no, 
think, yeah. I think, yeah. 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 oh, interesting. Okay, okay, hold on. So you're actually wearing a lot of your colors today. <laughs> there you go. So these are your colors. So the colors don't wear him, they really complement him. Right? Okay, thank you. Next. Okay. Uh, yes, come up. Okay. I'm not even going to talk anymore. Oh, I think all done. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it's actually a throw off. You guys have thrown out games and sorry, you're not right. <laughs> he would be cool if he had very strong blue eyes. Okay? Well, you can't see the eyes. But... They're, they're brown. They're brown. Yeah. So he is going to be either a winter or an autumn. Think of Jennifer Aniston for summer. Okay? So he could be an autumn. <laughs> You're not an autumn. Uh, he be, but he's tanned. You're tanned, right? I uh, am. Yeah. Okay. A lot? No. So you're very dark, generally? Generally. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Audience? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he would. So you are, sorry. Is it right to right? Right. Okay. I look good. It's not bad. That's not bad. But the universal tie for every gentleman to have is going to be that, right? Okay. And. <coughs> Okay, so you are a D. Next, please. I'd like the pattern gentleman. <laughs> okay, so you have red hair. Come up here. I believe you are either. Now, Nicole Kidman. This is her color. I believe. Uh, where is the case? Is it? Yeah, oh, that's the case. case. Yeah. I'm covering that beautiful shirt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt is your personality style. So what I would su suggest is that you find a shirt like it in your color. Okay. So that you can still have your personality style. But I actually believe these are your colors. Okay. So here's. Can you look straight ahead? I'll show it to you after. Yeah. So you are a warm. Okay, lower your chin just a bit. You have uh, red in your hair. He has greeny blue eyes. Okay, so these are your colors. Can you see past my arm? Okay, all of these are fabulous. Look at this. Your eyes look straight ahead so they can see what happens to your eyes. Because the right colors make your eyes pop. Okay, so you are a warm. There is no black in here. You will have a piece of dark chocolate brown. Okay, so now there's your shirt. So oh, if yeah. you got rid of the black, yeah. 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 but you have a lot of the colors within that work, but it's the black that really sucks the coloring out. And when you wear the wrong color, you don't see your eyes. And you want to see your eyes. You want your eyes to pop. So everybody doesn't look good in black. So you are a warm. Anybody else with natural red hair here? Thank you very much. Okay, who else hasn't been colored right, doesn't know what color? Okay, you are, um, I believe you're a deeper, uh, what's your name again? Sean. Sean. Sean the realtor, the laid back realtor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but 
but I don't want I want to make sure I get everybody before your time is up. Um, uh, come on up here quickly though, please. Would you have your hands in your pockets? I'm an image consultant. I get your hands out of your pockets. Okay, so what is he? Is he this color? Yes, you are a D. Okay? You are deep. This is your color. You're deep. You're, deep. you're very deep. You're so deep, dude. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to look great in yellow. Okay. You're deep as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I got a picture of this. Yep. Yep. Kayleen will take a picture with you. Okay. So you're deep. Who else wants to know what their coloring is? Yes. Come on up. Can you, can you comment on the, on the prudence of wearing a tie or not a tie? <laughs> okay, I would like to, so if in doubt, wear a tie, is in my, in my world. If in doubt, wear a tie. If you haven't got a clue, do your research, go to the company and look at how they dress. If you absolutely don't want to wear a tie, wear a shirt and a blazer and a pocket square. If the pocket square is too much, then wear a shirt and a blazer. And if you want to show some of your personality style, gentlemen, wear socks. Women show personality style with ruffles, with their hair, with their makeup. So men, you have a tie, a pocket square, some funky socks, um, and that's how you show it. Um, when in doubt, wear a tie. It's okay, you know what, when I speak, everybody holds their questions to the end when, when they don't have to have everybody listen. And the one thing that people say to me over and over again is, I work in an environment where nobody dresses up. And I want to dress up. And I say dress up. Because they're going to get the attention. They're going to get the compliments. And the other people in the office are going to hear it. And they're gonna, it's going to raise the bar for the rest of uh, the people at work. So if you're worried about dressing up, don't do it. But ladies, no bra strap, no cleavage. Gentlemen, make sure your sleeves aren't too long. Get the suit that fits. Pay attention to your shoes. Polish your shoes and get some socks. But I, and oh, men, nose hair, ear hair. <laughs> uh, ladies, facial hair, get rid of it. Um, men with too much facial hair. If that's all you see, groom it, get rid of it. Uh, clean teeth, dental floss. Um, uh, oh, and if you don't know what belt to wear, you know to get the shoes and the belt to match, but it's also okay to have the pants and the belt matching the pants. Okay, that's really important. Uh, Pull up your pants so we don't see your underwear. <laughs> okay. I'm going to quickly tell you, my car died this morning. I had to rent a car. I'm waiting at the bus, and there are these two young people your age, and they were really well-dressed. And I said, you guys look like you're in the entertainment business. And they said, no, I want to be a financier, and I'm going to be a doctor. And they both told me that they went to an interview. And after the interview, they, one of them came with a nose earring, um, the other guy had the pants hanging down and his underwear showing. And at the end of the interview, the, the uh, interviewer he did, said, no, you don't have a job. And both kids said, why didn't I get the job? And they said, because your underwear was showing and you came in with a, a ring in your nose. And they said to me today, I can't believe that. You know, they've got to start changing their practice because it's <laughs> in to wear. And it, that, honest to God, that is what they told me this morning. So it's really important that when you come to a networking event, that I don't see your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't care what you think of me. This is my job. You are a good looking man. I don't want to look at your underwear. I want to hear what you have to say. Okay? You are tall. I wish I was tall. You are very handsome. You got this funky hair going on with the bangs. I love it. Okay, you got beautiful, beautiful eyes that are far apart. You probably take a very good photo of you because you're. Uh, well, I believe he does. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, take this shirt and get another shirt that doesn't have the seam. I want you to make it. I want you to iron it. And I want you to pull up your pants so that you don't see the underwear. If you want to have some personality style. Figure out a 
another way to show who you are without uh, showing the, the, the band of the, of the underwear, okay? Now, what I would like you to do is to have a seat for a second. You are also a D. I, did, I think he's a decent and honor. Yeah. You're a decent and honor. So, um, yes. Great. Okay, Lane, can you put that up to the challenge? Okay, we're over time, but it's, I'm going to finish you off. Okay, so brown eyes. Oh, hey, here are soft. So a soft does not wear white. So if you have brown hair, men or women, and you have warm brown eyes, but you have a little bit of pink in your skin, but you're also warm, so when you tan, you get a golden tan, that means you're probably a warm. I mean, uh, sorry, sorry, soft. You are soft. So when I look at you and I look at your dress, which is pretty, I see your face and I see the dress. I don't see, I see two separate things. And the reason that I see it that way is because her coloring is one thing, but the white is too white. So if she wore these colors in this dress, you're going to see her and her silhouette. And she's going to look even more beautiful. So you are a soft. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want the colored one? Oh, my Ooh, yes. Okay. You are a D. You are a D. You're a D. I'd like to talk to you. Thank you. Okay. You're a D. Anybody else? Okay. You are. Uh, you're a winter. I hate to say this to you, girl, but uh, winter's amazing. I'm jealous. I was told I was a winter. I'm not. Okay. So head up. So the color that she's wearing is salmon lipstick. So salmon is not pink. She would look better if this was pink. Okay, so she's got the right color for the black, but these are her colors. Chin up, please, look straight ahead so that they can see. Okay, you are a winter. Okay, because you have contrast of skin and hair color. So you are a winter. So this top should be pink and your lipstick should be pink. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody else? Yes, come on up. Okay. Uh, Kayleen, what do you think? This is a $350 value that's happening right now. I just want you to know. The color draping is, is really a powerful part of uh, being styled. I'm covering her hair because of her hair color. You are actually uh, a winter, okay? So your green is a little off. Your green is for somebody with red hair. So the gentleman with the crazy shirt, um, he would look great <laughs> in this color. He would look great in this color. Um, but your color that's similar is here but this has got too much yellow. You are a winter, okay? So make sure your hair doesn't go too orange because that's the mistake that people with winter and have dark hair when they start to dye it, uh, it goes red, don't do red, keep it dark. Okay, yes, yes. hi there. Hi. Glasses mm. off. Ah, hmm, okay. What do you think? I love red. I love you bright do. colors of red trousers. Yeah, so. you do. Okay, <laughs> look straight into the blinding light. <laughs> okay, what was your hair color when you were in your 20s? It was a very light brown. Light brown, yeah. I think you are a soft as well. I could tell by the shirt because the shirt color was right. Um, okay. By the way, gentlemen, if you want to be more credible, take these shirts and wear long sleeve shirts, okay? So for networking, for business, put a blazer over this length or don't buy this length um, because these are this length is for air conditioning people. Um, like <laughs> trade people with, they have their name and they have the short sleeve. So my suggestion to you is to get a shirt like this long sleeve. This is your color. So you are right on for color. So you are a soft, okay? And if you were to wear a tie. I don't. You don't. <laughs> I, I, I gave up job. I put ties. you in one. My mom kept saying to my dad, because he always wore a rock and roll t-shirt. She says, 
damn it, Jackie, I'm going to put you in a tie one of these days. And she, she never did. I used to. I got out of it because I hate them. Yeah, I hear you. So these are, this is a color for you, for sure. Mm -hmm. So you are a soft. Thank oh, you very much. Yes, yeah. and your hair color is great. Okay, come on up, Dennis. Okay, Dennis is colorblind. So are you? No, oh, another no. colorblind. So we need to take a picture. Okay. <laughs> I got to do that. <laughs> okay. um, There's a lot of soft. Everybody's soft. No, everybody is not a soft, but you are. You are a soft. Okay, so if you want to. Take I'm soft. Picture. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> Never been told that. <laughs> hey, Cialis, ask your doctor. Uh, Wasn't talking about that. <laughs> okay, I need your help, I because I, everybody out there, the light sort of lining. Okay, so can you lean? Here's Winter. I think he's a little bit too dark for Winter. Yeah. Look at the greens. The greens, like these colors on you, dark skinned people, these colors, when you wear them, you'll look like a million bucks. Um, you know, keep your suits black, dark brown, dark purple, maroon, and then wear a white shirt or an off white shirt and get a tie with a pop of yellow. Um, like all of these colors are your socks, your underwear, your glass frame, the paint on your walls. You're going to look better if you surround yourself in your colors. Okay, so you are a deep as well. Yes? Yes. yes, you may. Come on over. Thank you for being a gentleman. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. So while you're thinking, I have a question for you. Go for it. Go. So I've always been under the impression as a woman that you have a little more play with color. Uh -huh. Because I felt like you could change your makeup to Hold on, larger, everyone. I a larger can't hear. range. Okay, so you all have 30 colors. So your makeup colors, ladies, are in your flag. So whatever your coloring is, take a photo of it. Kayleen will help you because I don't want everybody uh, touching all of these things and pulling them. But your makeup is in here. So your makeup is in your flag. Your eye frame color is in your flag. You can wear what you can leave here and wear whatever you want. But I am telling you that if you stick with your colors, you stick with your <clears throat> patterns, and you get men get a blazer, some ties and shirt, you're you're going to look better. Your makeup, ladies, is in your flag. So stick with those. So I think that you are another warm. Oh. Um, that's pretty good. Lower your chin and look straight ahead. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, now let me just show you. She's wearing black. Now, if you're a soft, you don't have you don't have black. Your black is a piece of dark chocolate. That's true of gentlemen as well. Okay. So here is the winter flag. See, they're too icy because her skin is warm, her eyes are warm, and her hair is warm. So I believe that you are a warm. <clears throat> soft. I'm sorry, soft. Thank you. So her lipstick, I would do it in here. Okay. And then if I may, I would undo that curl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's much better. Okay, you are a warm. Soft. 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 <laughs> you are soft. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You're you're nice and tall and beautiful. Now, don't be too curly with your hair because your face is a little bit angled and strong. So if you have a too curly of a hair, if your hair is too curly, it's a fight with the face shape. Is really curly, so. Oh, I know. I, I, my, it's the same. My hair is very curly. So I kind of tone it down. Hi there. Okay, let's see those eyes. Okay, hair color when you were in your 20s. Did you have any red in it at all? Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you that your color palette is because of your twins and people on our lights and TV. Um, so the color palette is based on your skin tone and your eye color. The multitude that we're going into the office and we got light. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What
whatever your skin tone and your eye color is. So whatever you are, you are everywhere all year round. It doesn't change. It doesn't change when you get older. It is the same all the way through. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Is he done? Well, it's just, the colors are just wearing him. Yeah. But he's got a white shirt on. <laughs> but there's green in there. So I'm sure. Just ignore the shirt. It's not bad, but I don't. I don't know. No, I think he's. Uh, we haven't seen him yet. That was cool. Are you think you're? Look straight ahead. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm kind of liking it. Yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, that seems to match better than. Yeah. Can you, um, Kayleen, can you um, get me the summary? Yep. Here it goes. <laughs> An anomaly no, you're not. You're not. You know what? When you're when I color drape people, they don't. They, they're covered up. Their clothing is covered up. Uh, his eyes are softer, though. I think this is your color. See, when I look at you, I see your hair and I see your white shirt. So that tells me that the white is a bit too strong. And I actually think that you are, I think that you're a warm as well, or soft. Why do I keep saying brown? Mm -hmm. And you would look really good in. Um, yeah, with green. With a little real green. No, I think he's. I think he's a warm. I think that the winter just. And this is eye training for you folks too. Um, so here's the winter. Hmm. Too strong. <clears throat> I like that one there. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. So you're you're soft. And there's another like good example. The soft, the bright colored teal in there. Yeah, okay. so that well, can can he can put anything. You're he can soft. use any Patrick. of these as pocket so. squares and ties. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, we have to cut. Okay, sorry. Well, thank you what, very much. What, we were what, well over. Why don't you do this last lady? She's, I would love to. She's our last person. Can you do one to ten for Yeah, I, I'll tweet it. Okay. Wait, do you have a okay. yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I think you're okay in black. Oh, yeah. You're a winter. Yep. So you're okay in black. You get to wear black and white. That is your color. <laughs> okay, come on over, gentlemen, in the real uh, Okay, hair color. Did you have red in your hair? Okay, red and beard. Okay, so you are. Uh, Probably right here. Mm. Nope. Nope. Okay, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're a summer. Mm -hmm. You're a summer. That's a very good. Now, so summer. Okay, who else is left? Manfred is left. Yeah. There you go. I guess we're almost there. Um, I don't really have a square to go with what you have on today. But you are a summer, okay? With a little bit of warmth. Yes. 
ones. And your hand. Mm -hmm. I think you're. <laughs> because like when she wears the gray, it washes it from the Try the soft again. <laughs> again, soft? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Your gray is too light. That's the problem. You need to go with a darker gray. So this is for Jennifer Aniston. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anybody else? You know. I, okay. Let me. I think I need to sum up. Yes, you do. I'm so. Thank you very much. Hold on. I'd like to sum up. Um. Uh. I've got to figure out how I can get a group of you together. I would like to do that. Um. But to sum up, please take the level of dress that you came wearing tonight and raise the bar. So if you wore a golf shirt, wear a cotton long sleeve dress shirt. If you came with just a dress shirt on, get a blazer. If you had a blazer and a dress shirt, then get a pocket square. And then if you want to go further, get a tie. Ladies, I'd like to see you getting out of black. I would like to see um, some, uh, I didn't even, I'm going to have to work with the ladies at another time. There's just so much. There's so much. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, please email me. Uh, my card is here, and I think that you can get my email uh, or uh, website uh, through uh, VBS. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy, very much. You opened a whole bunch of people's eyes, I think. And I on connect. Thank you for making this recording possible. If any of you ladies want to stay for a second, I will show you some pieces. Gentlemen, nice. I think the gentleman got a lot of attention tonight. Uh, yes, Kayleen, can you hold the center lines up so that you're the only one holding them? Please don't touch anything on the table. Winter. Everybody in the winter. Daryl's got to get his tie back. I think Daryl's tie is still in there.